In this video we'll focus on the manipulator settings in the corridor and linear template feature definitions. The manipulator settings define what the corridor object, template drop handles, point controls, key stations, what those are going to look like in the plan view. These are also how we'll be able to go in and adjust things graphically. These are defined symbology wise by choosing an element template here. So for the first one we'll look at the corridor element template. This is the corridor object here. That This element template defines the symbology. I'll be able to go in here and choose the corridor graphics for the design feature definition and that basically tells the corridor how to display that. So if I go to corridor graphics design it's saying put it on this level use by level symbology for the weight, style, color set it to a construction class so when I turn off my construction elements with my display attributes I can turn off all these handles and stuff and also set a transparency on it to kind of dither it out a little bit and those those settings are common to all of these different things so you notice that for the template drop handles we can choose a element template and that defines the symbology for the template drop handle for the transition element there's an element template and that default defines the symbology for the transition handles here if we go in and look at say a point control element template that defines the symbology for a point control handle that's displayed on here we've got one for key station again that defines the symbology for the key station handle so for each one of these different symbologies secondary alignments in condition exceptions they'll all have handles that we could access the information by from the plan view and this defines the symbology for each one of those now those settings also have the ability to define the size and spacing for example the corridor handle has a length factor and that length factor is a ratio of the width of the corridor so right now it's set to 0.2 so it should be two tenths the width here of the corridor at this point the spacing the corridor handle spacing is basically in master units so it's set to 300 so you notice I've got three major stations between corridor handles and it's the same for the other so the template drop handles in this case the template drop handle length factor is set to 0.9 notice how much wider the template drop handles are compared to the corridor handles it's basically nine tenths the width of the template at this point and the other handles have that as well so the single station template drop the transition handles again the widths are defined as a ratio of the width of the corridor this completes the video on the manipulator settings for corridor and linear templates